Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this preview of the final home game of the season against Sheffield Wednesday. It feels like the season has just gone like that. It's been so enjoyable and there have been so many highlights, particularly at home. But I'm going to make a separate video about that later next week. And if you want to get involved, if you want to send in your favourite clips or favourite moments, then film a little uh, video of you speaking to the camera this way around and then email it to me in the link in the description down below and you could be involved in uh, your say video. I did one of these a few months ago and it proved quite successful and I quite enjoyed hearing all the different views of my subscribers. So if you want to get involved in that, then please do. So the next couple of weeks are going to be full of amazing memories, uh, as this whole season has been really. But I think tomorrow we're lifting the trophy at home for the second time in my lifetime that we've seen that. Only the fourth time that Wolves have ever won the second tier and by far and away the best they've ever won it. Uh, and they've got an opportunity now with the two more wins to beat their best points record and the most wins in a season. That record's up there as well. Um, so it's a very, very exciting couple of games left. Even though there's no, nothing to play for, we've secured our place in the Premier League and all that sort of stuff, which is magnificent, so convincing and so controlling in the division. Yeah, I've, I've no doubt that Nuno would have prepared his players, like he has done all season, to win the game. There's no question about it that Wolves would have been preparing all week, ready to beat Sheffield Wednesday. And I think... I haven't made a prediction all season in these preview videos. It's not for me to do and it's not. it makes me look like a fool because if I get it wrong, which I probably would. But I can see Wolves really having the shackles off tomorrow. And like we saw a little bit last week against Bolton and scoring a hatful of goals, I really do think that it's possible that Wolves could go and win tomorrow, tomorrow's game 4 or 5, maybe even 6-0. I know Sheffield Wednesday have been on a little bit of good form recently, but they've got nothing to play for which could work in their favour. I think we will see a really open game. Yeah, Tomorrow's game is really all about the uh, pre-match and the post-match atmosphere and the trophy being presented to the team as well. And I'm going to ask you the question, which has been going on for a long time now, but around about six weeks or so, or probably even longer than that. But who would you want to lift the trophy uh, tomorrow? I think in an ideal world, if he's fit enough and if he's healthy enough, I would love Carla Kimi to be lifting the trophy I know he's played no part in the season at all but in a way he's been the driving force behind this season with the t horrific news that happened you know that we received back in July his name has been sung at every home and away game and there isn't another player this season who has had that because earlier on in the season there was no champ for Neves no champ for Jota but Akimi every single game consistently his name has been shouted and I think it'd be really really fitting to show how how integral he is to the club and how that we haven't left anybody behind. It's been a team effort. I think it would be mean a lot if Carla Kimi was well enough. But in reality, I don't, I'm not sure what sort of what sort of stage he is with his treatment, but I think it's more likely that it would be Conor Cody and Danny Bart together lifting the trophy, which I'd be absolutely fine with. I think Danny Bart as a club captain over the last two or three or four seasons since he was the captain in the first season back in the championship has led the club quite well over the last few years and deserves as a local lad the sort of recognition for sticking for being the poster boy in league one and for sticking with the club all through the championship and leading us through so many games if you remember how good he played in league one and the season after in the championship he played almost every game in those two seasons i think it would be right for him to lift the trophy on Saturday. I also think Conor Cody for this season deserves it. He's led that team like nobody else and he really does deserve to have that recognition of lifting a, a trophy at, as a Wolves captain. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As for the team tomorrow, I can't see there being any changes really. I think Nuno will stick with the team that played against Bolton last week. There's no injury, no fresh injury concerns at least. I think Cavaliero will be out for the rest of the season by the sound of it. Bennett didn't seem... He was in the squad last Saturday, but he seems to have picked up some sort of knock. And I think Danny Bart deserves a little bit of a shot. I think last week I didn't really say in my review because I didn't think it would be right to, but he didn't. it was clear to see that he's not at the same level as the other defenders that we've got at the club. And, of course, the transfer rumours have already started. Wolves are apparently very, very close to sort of signing 
uh, Portuguese central defender Pele for about 10 million euros from Rio Ave, which is where we got uh, Roderick Miranda from back last summer. So I think that probably suggests that Alfred and Dai will be going because he's a, a sort of similar mould to and I think. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Drop a like on it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content. I'll be doing a video tomorrow of the scenes before the game at the outside Molyneux uh, with the coach coming in, hopefully being greeted by an amazing atmosphere there. Uh, about half past 12, half past, half past one, I think people are gathering outside the Molyneux to, to, to give a guard of honour almost to the players down the Waterloo Road. And then I'll take my camera into the ground and stuff like that and get some shots for you in the ground as well. Thank you and thanks for everybody who's watched all these previews throughout the season so far. There's only one more left for next uh, Saturday before the game against Sunderland. I uh, hope you've enjoyed them and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.